Hello there everyone, welcome back to Stonehearth and Bantone with me, Banto. So in the latest video I showed you one of our new buildings, our clock tower here, and I got suggested by Anax to be building like a park, a garden around this and elevate this up, so I added another, another level for this around and under this clock tower that's gonna be here, and what I also did here was to add in some uh, trees, I have teleported them, I'm not uh, done with this. But I done uh, the base of the work with this, added in some trees, we added some lights to this. So that's a little bit I've done off the camera, and uh, we got these like uh, curved roads kinda. We can take the paths here and around here, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be maybe be adding some kind of statues or something around here. I was thinking of doing a little place where we can go and eat, and we can have some parks, benches, and we have some uh, more flowers. So I'm probably gonna add in more like flowers around here, we're definitely gonna Hop in some more trees. I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually do this if you are interested in moving trees. So the way you wanna do this, if you want to do this, is you have to select a tree, then press Ctrl plus C, and then that brings up the console. So what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna select one of these trees that I want to have, and then a console. I'm just gonna do teleport. It'll give us this little flag here, so we can teleport in this tree here. I'm gonna try to get it. To be sitting just as these trees are, so we kind of gonna see if we can get them. It's gonna be a little bit of tricky to get them right, so they look the same for each of my sides. So what I like to do if when I'm gonna get this the same is to use a kind of line like this. So I know that I found my light here have eight blocks until I reach my tree. And I also know that my tree is uh, one block from the road, so that's what I'm gonna aim for with this. So if uh, you don't see the building, if you're gonna do this thing, you don't, what you have to do is to bring up the build design while you have typed in teleport. Actually, we have to type in teleport now, and then we're just gonna try to move this. I think that should be about right, that should be good. Eight to reach in there, we got one for the sides, so that should be the same as we got for all of the other sides. So I'm just gonna teleport in the trees we want, and then we're gonna move forward again. Okay, so there we go, we got the trees here, and uh, that's looking pretty good. I probably want to go and uh, connect these roads in some way. I haven't fully decided how I want to do with this. If I'm perhaps going to make them like a curve that curves into the middle one, or if we're more maybe going to move on to like, going further out here so we can reach from this one to get here, because we want to have more ways to get to the clock tower. It's kind of be going to become a little bit of a center of the town. We do have the town center, but this is like another center. I don't think we're gonna have any buildings here. Like I said, maybe we will do some um, statues or something because that's gonna look pretty damn good. We're definitely gonna add more flowers. I have added a few ones, like these small ones we have around here. But that's not really too many things. So maybe what we wanna do is to get a gardener pretty soon. So we have to craft with a blacksmith. And I think we're actually able now to get a little bit of better, better weapons. So we're gonna start to do some iron weapons and some iron armor instead, because we can do those, so we kind of shouldn't focus too much on doing bronze armor and bronze weapons. Instead, we're gonna move forward to making some iron gear instead. So I'm gonna maintain one helmet, and we're gonna maintain one armor as well. And I guess we can't make the chest plate yet, but it shouldn't be too far. Like, when we start to make this and this, we should be moving forward pretty quick, I'm guessing. Also want to do an engineer wrench, we might want to get an engineer soon so we can get some turrets. That could help out quite a bit when we play on a hard mode. Everything that helps is a little bit better, I would say. It can sometimes still be worth to do like bronze helmets and such. If you don't have them and you have like like um, pretty low level on your people. Because my people for the moment are wielding pretty, pretty bad helmets. They're better than nothing, but they ain't really good, so I might actually consider Maybe crafting two of these. I'm still not sure if it's worth it though. And I think I saw some people stuck here before, by the way. We got uh, Dragon Ghost and we got Emmy Elliot. And we got a new name to add today, by the way. So Emmy Elliot is gonna be named Priscilla. So that's what she's gonna be named. If you want to get named, drop comments in uh, with your name and I would randomize if you're 
Lucky to get a name in the town. Here we go, welcome. Good body and good spirit for Priscilla. So I'm, I'm just gonna go and... I think we had a ladder here that should be able to get down. This house is pretty much done. And uh, okay, didn't go all the way down, I guess. <laughs> didn't want to build an entire ladder. Uh, but I think the reason we aren't done here is that um, they have some troubles maybe to go up to the different places where we have scaffolding. And if they can't reach uh, certain places, they are actually not able to remove scaffolding. So I think these guys are going to remove that and then they're going to start to remove everything else because it looks like pretty much the rest of the house except for some decoration are missing. But um, pretty much not too far from now it should be done and we should start to construct our next building. Probably need to gather a little bit more wood. I'm going to gather those uh, stumps there. And maybe go to this guy. Let's destroy this little guy. The guy in the zombie. Let's go and destroy him. We have seven soldiers. Like I said before, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this many. It's good to have many when you play in hard mode. But we have a little bit too many now. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. Seven is pretty good later on, I guess. A uh, fairy can... A uh, fairy can become a cleric now. Nice. We really need that second cleric. I also got another good suggestion that was to make a bakery, and that sounds pretty interesting. That was suggested by Neta04, so... So keep suggestions for houses and whatever decoration you think we should add to town, and I will see what we can do with them. So, so far with those suggestion, we have made a clock tower. We have started to make like a park, a garden around this, and uh, I'm probably gonna add a lot more in here and add some benches and stuff like that to make it look even better than it look now. Okay, let's see, what did we get from this guy? I didn't really check what we got from them. There's some silver or I guess the looted maybe something. Look at the weapons, we have really bad weapons. Okay, seven tables of one and we get two stone walls. That's a that's a very, very, very bad trade. Not gonna do that. Waste of time. Okay, let's see how they do in here. Are they removing the scaffolding finally? I think they will be doing it now. We need to get the beds in. I think we'll wait a little bit more until we start to build the next one. And I was thinking that maybe the next house we actually build will be maybe the blacksmith. I kind of want to build this though. Probably not going to be able to build it fully with the halflings, but I might actually allow them to do it. It will take a bit of time though. But a blacksmith house to be done should be pretty nice. I think we'll do this one after. I want to see it, you know, to be fully built and look amazing. Okay, let's see the blacksmith. How is he doing? Anything more we need? Iron helmet is pretty cheap to make. It's only two iron ingots. And the iron pike is only one wood and one, one iron. So that's really, really cheap to do. But we will be getting a lot of better stuff. I'm gonna put to make iron mail already. Gonna maintain one of them. Not too far from now. We will probably be able to craft those things. Let's activate one of these energy tonics, some monster energy, green, so it's nature. So, um, another thing I was thinking about right now is that maybe we should get that um, second blacksmith gun. And the reason for that is we might want to get an engineer later on, and having an engineer should be really useful. Dragon Ghost is a potential really good soldier, like an archer, but I'm actually thinking of going for an blacksmith with him. Because mine is good for crafting, five in body doesn't hurt to have. Has a passion to be a farmer, but uh, we're gonna go for another blacksmith. I guess we need to make another hammer then. Okay, let's make that one. Mason wasn't busy with anything for the moment. So, oh, we need to make this one. We can actually craft the Valor Sid, but uh, that's not the one we're going for. We're going for this one, the Guildmaster's skill this time. We're doing something different. Maybe someday we'll do Fountain of Plenty. I would say that this one is probably the, like, the hardest one to do. So we kind of have all the professions to do this, except for Decorative Vase. And uh, for this one, I guess we could go back, promote um, one of our clerics to be an herbalist again, and yes, craft this. Or make a new one. I don't think we'll go for three clerics, but maybe, maybe, I'm not sure. Might be perhaps needed for hard mode. Okay, let's go put the back to the blacksmith. I was thinking that maybe we should do... Let's main thing to have one shield. I think that could be good, because I think I want to have two knights. You never know what happens, and having two means we can aggro a little bit more people at the same time. Bob John, level free cook, awesome. And we was gonna look for some foods. I don't think we have grown up any wheat yet. This will probably be the first harvest we do. 
So I think we have to wait. We can look around in the inventory and see if we have any. I don't think we do. Uh, it doesn't look like we have any wheat. Okay. And now we have eight troops. Uh, so maybe get an... Let's get a bow. Let's make one. Archer bow. Um, I guess we can make two of them. Not sure if we're gonna go for two archers now. We might go for two. How many footmen do we have? So one of these footmen is gonna be a knight then. That means we have four footmen left and then we can do... If we do two more footmen to be archers, then we have two more normal footmen left. So two then we have two archers, two knights, two clerics and... Uh, archer and footmen. So pretty much two of each class. I think that would be pretty good. I, I kind of like to have good footmen. It doesn't hurt to have some nice archers also because they can penetrate the armor. They can get those nice quivers and stuff. So looking at the people here, I think ours is probably going to be an archer. Then Carolove is going to be... Carolove or Low is going to be the second archer. See how they're doing. Looks like they're removing a little bit of scaffolding. I really want to start the next building project. But uh, we don't have so many so many workers doing over the building now since we expanded our troops so much. We'll see how that's gonna go for building everything. And I kinda wanna get I wanna get like a shepherd or perhaps buy Poyo feathers because then we can make this spiky quiver one of my one of my favorite items for the soldiers because this slows down enemy, which make those uh, annoying little ch um Chickens, the Kobalaches, not run away as much as more, so that helps quite a lot. A goblin, haha, <laughs> you puny settlement, now part of glittering territory, you deserve tribute for shiny. 36 oak log, one luxury stone chair, and one stone oven. So, of course, we're not gonna, not gonna accept that one. What? You say no? Then we take, take all things. Where's this guy then? Where did he settle down? We have one camp here. Oh, it's up here, okay. Okay, we got some goblins. I'm gonna meet them. Should be fairly easy. I'm gonna take out these kobolds before we get too many enemies around us, around us as well. Should help quite a bit to go and kill them before they get too close to us. Okay, there they are. Okay, let's see. Who's just gonna smash down? Let's go for this guy. Now we do have some iron pikes, and as we can see, that is helping quite a lot. A lot of a better army. But you're still hitting with pretty hard and two clerics is helping quite a bit. Don't like that some of those just running past us. Go for this guy. If we had an archer now with that quiver, this guy wouldn't be running around like that. Not so much of that. Destroy him. Data metal level 2, nice. Their trash is level 1 cleric, awesome. We got healing aura, that's really nice. Let's see if we can take those little goblins. I think we have a few of them um, workers in town for a moment. Well, here's one of the orcs. Okay, let's go for him. Then I think we might go for the camp directly. It could be pretty risky though, because uh, there could come some ogres and kobolds. They like to come and backstab you while you're doing something. Looks like they're escaping with our stuff over here, so let's go and uh, flank them. Let's come and backstab it in the back. We try to go and miss the green skins. Destroy them! Destroy them all! Here we go. Lady Metal of a free footman, awesome. Let's go straight for the camp. I'm gonna wreck these guys. They're not gonna settle down at my place. We can use one of these stamina to even improve us a little bit more. Yeah, they don't stand a chance. Chieftain's here now, but I don't think he has too much of a chance. He's hitting pretty hard though. Look at the knights, he's dropping quite a bit of health. But not strong enough for Bentonia. The arm of Bentonia will prevail and we will break all the little goblin camps. Rude Banto. Oh, level 2 cleric, awesome. Chieftain, oh it hurts. Tell me sheep me love her always. Do you know when the ogre coming, so they say? Ogre, crush everyone. So ogre's probably gonna be pretty hard. Like I said when I played this one before, I, I prefer I kind of prefer footmans over archers against him, because they have so many small goblins. So that helps quite a bit many times. I would say a pretty useful thing when you're playing in uh, Stone Hearth is to use a mod called Patrol Mod. I don't have it running for the moment, 
But when you have that mod and you don't have patrol points, the thing is that uh, all your solos will actually be we were gathering wood and all things are lying around town and that's helped quite a bit. Like for now we would have eight more people collecting ingredients and everything. That will help a lot, it can really change everything. So they have to have a few more tiny things to put here, so I think I will actually move on towards our next building, which will be the clock tower to be built, and it's gonna look really awesome, looking forward to see it, guys. I think that's one of my favorite buildings I've done so far. This one requires a lot of building planning, look at that, it's running so slow. We'll see how far they'll be able to go with it, and where they are failing, that's where we're gonna step in and do the instant build, but other than that, we're actually gonna try to let them build this. So we need 54 in total in wood to do this. We're gonna need even more for whatever windows and stuff. I don't really have too much stuff in this, so uh, we'll see what happens. I really want to. I really want to get more workers now. We have 20 people. I think I have locked to. Let's see how many. Maybe it's locked at 20. We have locked at 20. Okay, let's move beyond that. Let's go up to 30, so we can get a few more. Something we can actually do if we want to, we do have our bushes. Those we can actually go and we can put them at over here at the garden. Not sure what you guys think about that. I'm gonna maybe give it a go and see what we can do with that. Because I think we should have more than only the trees as we have now. Hey, don't break my door, dude. Stop breaking my door, dude. I think we need to make a wall soon, by the way. We can hold the enemies outside a bit. Looks like it's going pretty good. The Ogre is actually quite dangerous when you're playing hard mode. He got his pretty powerful AOE attack, but uh, not enough to take down Banzo for now. So something you can do, like the clerics are, they're pretty stupid with the many things in this game. For example, they go close combat and hit people, and now for example we have them very far away, which in the game means that uh, they, their AOE healing is not doing anything. Okay, let's go for these guys. They're kind of spreading up my army, so we should go for the same guy with everyone. And if you saw my latest video when I had problems with the AI when we're just dropping your offline when they were hurt, I actually wrote in the forums about it, and they are working on changing the AI behavior, so that's something we're hopefully gonna see not too far away. They said that it's maybe not gonna be an Alpha 23, but hopefully at least an Alpha 24 or something like that, or 23.5, we maybe will see a change for the AI behavior. And that is something I'm really looking forward to in many, many ways, not only in this way. Rugged Survivalist, and uh, let's see, do we want to buy anything? I don't think so, we can see if we can sell some, we might have a lot of some things. I kind of tend up to have uh, many pelts, a few of them, not really as many as I would expect. I guess flowers, even if we have many, we should kind of keep them, 44, that's not too many. Because uh, we're gonna get the garden, and that uh, requires a lot of flowers, so we want to make uh, this one, the garden's travel. If you wonder, by the way, anytime when you watch my videos, how to ban to have all these craftable decorations and all new like jobs, professions, look in my video descriptions and you can find uh, most of the mods I'm using. It's not 100% updated for the moment, so I'm gonna overlook it and make sure everything is there soon, but most of the important things are there for now. Let's take a little bit of a look maybe on our people, see what they have equipped. Do we have an iron helmet? Okay, so Lowe's do have one, nice. So, we should have boats. I'm gonna promote ours to be our first archer. And then we're gonna see if we're gonna promote... The Carol Love is gonna be our... Carol Love is gonna be the second archer. And then we maybe go for a knight for being... Hmm... Lady Metal, you're gonna be my second knight. Hope you're gonna like that. So we're losing a little bit of a cleave damage, but we're getting more direct penetration damage through the arches. And a little bit more of survival. Uh, not sure what they've done with the floor here on the clock tower. I maybe need to change a tiny thing, I don't know. Maybe it's gonna be fine. Uh, I think the reason is I have uh, the floor, I'm using this one normally. And since I moved it up there, it's actually going through this thing because the game... Can't handle things like this, it seems. Oh, I kind of want to change the clock tower. I'm, I'm maybe gonna do it. It's so annoying that I'm just bugging like that with the building thing. Okay, so I removed it. So what I'm gonna do is that uh, I'm just gonna try to like 
I'm gonna remove the floor. Okay, so I think everything should be removed now. That's just some things you have to do when a game behaves in this way. So hopefully that will be hopefully fixing in the future so it doesn't behave in this weird way. Okay, there we go. Let's build this again. And now it should be working a lot better. So now we shouldn't be getting this weird floor. They're just gonna go with the walls and everything. I removed the floor and it should be working out a lot better. We're not gonna get this like double touch thing that looks totally terrible. So let's see a little bit here. Do we have the gardener's trouble? Okay, it looks like we do. So we need to promote someone to be a gardener. I'm not sure if you have to promote a farmer or not. Oh yeah, you have to be a farmer first. You have to be a farmer level 3 and then you need a gardener's trouble. And seems we don't have it yet. I thought we had one. Oh, you're making it now. Okay. So we might be going for perhaps steel short sword. I'm gonna put the maintenance on steel and uh, then we're gonna make some steel short sword. It's gonna be a little bit better than uh, the standard knight weapon. Moved up here and then we go something like that and that. Then we should be getting a lot of armor. It's gonna take a while to make all this. We should have a good amount, a pretty good amount of iron, so we're good on that. Uh, the wood is pretty low though. We have need a lot of wood for building this and we need a lot of wood, wood for melting everything. And uh, I think maybe we'll change all of our soldiers for a bit. Yes, to remove job from them. And then we're gonna start to haul resources. Same for arches. Like that. So now they should be helping a lot with carrying around things. Another building we should probably be doing soon, but I, sh I think should be really, really useful. Is to get a storage house, because we need more storage. And I think if we do a storage house, we're gonna make it pretty damn big. And we're also going to go maybe underground, so we can store underground and up on maybe two floors or something. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. We have a lot of building to be done. We will see how much instant build we will have to do, but uh, I'm going to try to avoid this as much as possible. If you guys don't feel that we maybe should do it a little bit more so we can progress a tiny bit faster. But guys, thank you for checking out today's video of Stone Hearth. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, looking forward to see these hours get done our clock tower. Guys, thanks for being here today, and feel free to drop names and yes, and as always, I randomize who gets on, so I hope you get, guys get lucky to get to join us. Let's get another one to join, which I'm gonna name in the next episode, the Duff Bob here. Duff's gonna be named in the next one. So guys, thanks for watching today's episode, leave suggestions for houses, and anything you guys think we should be building in the town. So thanks for being here today, and hope to see you guys very, very soon again, so have a great day, and take care.